In this video, we're going to have a look at how we multiply decimals by 10, 100, 1000, etc. So hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to do this very quickly. So when we do multiply decimals without a calculator, um, we're going to have a look at a quick and easy way. But what I'll show you first is what happens when we do it um, the longer way. So here's an example. We're going to calculate the value of 0 0.729 times 10. We're going to do it the longer way. So the longer way basically says we've got three numbers in total after a decimal point. So there's none after a decimal point here. We've got three here. So if there's three numbers after a decimal point, then our answer should have three decimal places. Now let's ignore the decimal. And we've got 729 if we ignore the decimal times 10. Um, and that becomes 7,290. Once we've done that, Let's go back and have a look what we did in our first step. Our answer should have three numbers after the decimal point. So here's one, two, three. We're counting backwards. So we're going to place our decimal point after uh, or between the seven and the two. Okay, so now we've got three decimal places. Um, but normally we don't have a zero written on the end. Okay, so our final answer. Um, is going to be 7.29. So we don't need that zero on the end, unless, of course, um, the question said we wanted our answer correct to three decimal places. In that case, we have to have three numbers after the decimal point. But it doesn't, so we just get 7.29. So that's doing it the longer way. And we're going to have a look at how we can do it um, as a quicker way without having to do all that working out. So let's just have a look at what our question was and what our answer was. And you'll notice that we've got 729 in both the question there and in our answer. And so what you'll notice is that the decimal point has moved from here over to here between the 7 and the 2. Right, so the number 10 has one zero. So that means we move the decimal point one place to the right. So we've moved it from here one place to the right which means it's after the 7 and before the 2. OK, so that's where it was. And we've moved it one place to the right. And now it's here where the 7 and the between the 7 and the 2. Now you notice we could have that 0 there at the front, but we don't normally. Um, we don't normally have a 0 to say that there's no 10s. So we just get 7.29. And that's the quicker way of being able to do it. Again, we're going to have a look at how we can do that quickly, even quicker, um, without having to do that bit of working out. So let's look at a second example. We're going to use our quick method. So multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000. Well, this is our shortcut way. So we move the decimal point to the right, the number of zeros in that multiplier. So if there's one zero, we're multiplying by 10. We move it one place to the right. OK, so multiply by 10, we move the decimal point one place to the right. If we're multiplying by 100, then we move it two places to the right because there's two zeros there. If we're multiplying by 1,000, then we move the decimal point three places to the right because there are three zeros, and so on. So if we multiplied by 10,000, 10,000 has four zeros, so we move it four places to the right. If we multiplied by a million, a million has six zeros, so we'd move the decimal point six places to the right. So that's the process we follow, multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000. So let's have a look at a quick um, example on how to do that. So 12.846 times 100. Well, we notice that there's two zeros in 100, so that means we're going to move the decimal point two places to the right. So we're going to move it 1, 2. So we're going to move it from between the 2 and the 8. So now it's after the 4. And so our answer 12.846 times 100 is now 1,284.6. So we've moved the decimal point from here two places to the right because of those two zeros. Much quicker and easier. Let's have a look at a third example. 0 0.72 times 1,000. Well, there's three zeros in a thousand, so we're going to move that decimal point three places to the right. But you notice when we move it one, two, three, 
there's nothing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our zero in there. We can put a zero on the end. And now our decimal point will be after that. So 0 0.72 times 1,000 is 720. Our decimal point here is now at the end, and we don't write that. So let's have a look at a fourth example. 0 0.0093, which is a very small number, and we're going to make it 10 times bigger. So multiply it by 10. There's one zero in 10, so move the decimal point one place to the right. And when we do that, our decimal point is now moved here. So now we're going to have a 0 0.093 after the decimal point. So 0 0.0093 times 10 gives us our 0 0.093. Just be careful with your zeros that you don't mix those up. So now that I've shown you how to multiply by 10, 100 and 1000, what you now need to do is to practice and practice some more and then practice some more. And the more that you do that, the easier it will become. So I hope you found this useful and the more that you practice it, the better you will become. Thank you.